57A off the front row will be the veteran Lawrence Baker in the 15A. Regan Tyler in the 56A starting next to Aaron Humble in the 46A off the second row. Peter Honeybell pulling double duty out of position number five while Rachel Melrose in the 7A will be out of six. Sean Cook starting out of seven on the outside of him will be Bryce Pennington in the 51A while Harry Hodgson the TQ rookie starting out of group position number nine. Kate Grishinski starting on the outside of him in grip position number 10, while Terence Darrell and Scott Baker round out your sixth row. So that is your first few rows there of the TQ feature here tonight. Further back, we'll be looking at Josh, Josh Melrose out of position number 15, Troy Pennington out of 16, Sol Smith and Brad Houston off the next row out of 17 and 18, whilst Jaden Bush out of 19, Dylan Cook out of 20. Then a little bit further back, Dana Lowry starting out of position number 21, with Nathan Burris starting out of 22. Danny Keane rounding off our field here tonight for the Wash World TQ feature, starting out of position 23. So as we see drivers getting gridded up, it's the fast man Morrison. He was quick here on Boxing Day and equally so Lawrence Baker. So these drivers duking it out for the COVID Cup. We saw the silverware down there with Nick at the desk and uh, this is what this title race is being named. It's the COVID Cup here for the Wash World TQs here tonight. So it's a fast looking first few rows. Look out for the man with his elbows up here tonight, Lucas All Speedway, the 39 Harris race cars machine and Peter Honeybell. He'll be starting out of grip position number five on the inside, but not without a battle. That's a fast looking first half a dozen rows there, but a man who's going to be putting up his elbows to try and keep these young guns behind him. Lawrence Baker, as we see the Giltrap group, Vita Bamrock pull off the track, our pace setter. Lawrence Baker on the outside, Ben Morrison to his inside, and we're gonna be going green next time past the flag post. the drivers roll around picking up the pace you can hear the engine rpm starting to build wash world bringing you the 15 laps of action here as we go green and it's going to be morrison that gets the initial jump but the 56 a just giving them a little push to get out started but lawrence baker goes to the high side tries to run in there on the outside of ben morrison and the kp tanks number 97 but baker can't get there Morrison prevails in action all the way through on this opening lap, all the way back. They're all trying to work their way around. There's Harry Hodgson there in the 19, right in the mix with Baker. Troy Pennington's in there as well, so keep an eye on the 4A, trying to work his way through. He's had a tough night. And there's the man that we said early on would have his elbow up, that 39 of Peter Honeybelt. But this is that battle pack, so we've got the 51 in there as well, Bryce Pennington. And there's the 4-8 of Troy Pinkton trying to run high side, trying to get around him there. Beautiful looking car there, new car for Pinkton this season, so keep an eye there. As we look at the second of the Baker cars, and that's Scott Baker there. But the man who is in charge here, Morrison, still out front, but the battle for second and third is alive. Well and truly, Honeybell moves himself up a spot ahead of Aaron Humble now. So Baker running that pole line, trying to keep 56 of Reagan Taylor just behind him, but it's tight. He gets up the inside, tries to get down on that ash and make a little bit of extra track, but can't get there. It still doesn't allow Honeybell to get any closer. Ten laps to go, five laps in the books. The man still out front, the 97 KP Tanks machine. Ben Morris doing a great job. Regan Tyler tries to get in there once again. Can't quite get it. Gets all out of shape. Allows Honeybell to get a bit of a run. But then Honeybell just loses a little bit of momentum himself as well. It's flames throw out the side of the Harris Race Cars machine. But no change there in our front three. But we're the battles are tied and fierce. It's further back here. That's Baker. We're back to the front now. And that's Baker and Regan. Tyler in there as well. Now and Brett, there's plenty of action all the way through here. But the man, he's still doing everything he can and he can't prevail. Peter Honeybell's trying to find an extra bit of unoccupied track. Can he find it out there? As Regan Tyler gets a big bicycle down at Penrite turn number three. Honeybell moves up another spot, two and one corner, and gets through. So they move Honeybell up to the second position now with six laps to go next time past the flag post. So Baker drops down to that pole line. Regan Tyler just jumps that ash belt once again. Losing a little bit of momentum. Now that's moved Aaron Humble onto the back of this train as well. 
So keep your eyes forward, Humble. These guys are loose, they're fast, but you gotta keep your eyes up to try and pick your way through them, just like we saw from Peter Honeybell, with only five laps to go. As we see Danny Keane pull to the infield now for the 71A Keane Composites machine. But now we've got Morrison, he's on the back of the lap traffic. That's gonna slow down his momentum. Is that going to close up Honeybell onto the back of him? So far, so good for Morrison. But 97, this is our man on screen. He's out front by a country mile, four laps to go. He's on the back of the 32, that's Sol Smith now. That pink NZHL machine, he's gonna try and get up the inside. Sol Smith leaves the door open. Is he gonna let the leader through with three laps to go around Luke Saw Western Spring Speedway? No one can touch this man. Honeybell not even yet into the lap traffic with two laps to go around the speedway here. As Morrison gets up the inside once again, Sol Smith, that's 21 in there as well. So Dana Lowry, Definitely not making life easy here for our leader, Ben Morrison. Getting right in there. Next on his mission is going to be the eight. That's Dylan Cook. He doesn't know there's no rear vision mirrors in these machines. So we're cut out for Ben Morrison. Last lap of the Washworld TQ feature. The COVID Cup brought to you by Washworld as our leader comes around to take the chicken flag here tonight at Lucas Oil Western Spring Speedway. I battle all the way through. I'm not even going to attempt who was second, third, and fourth in this one. But our leader, it was obvious. He dominated here. And the KP Tanks, number 97 of Ben Morrison, takes out your feature here tonight. There it is, right on cue. Wash wheel TQ feature results. And as we confirm, the win goes to Ben Morrison in the 97A. Peter Honeybow takes out third position after a hard fought battle coming through from position number five. Regan Tyler in fifth, great drive. Aaron Humble having his work cut out, coming home in fourth. Scott Baker in fifth, while Lawrence Baker drops back behind his son. So great job to Scott, moving up into fifth position. So action of plenty in the Wash Wheel TQ feature here. The COVID Cup will get presented to our feature winner here. And we've got Morrison making his way over to Graham Standring to get a couple words. Concerned about cars coming up from behind? Did you know where the second place was when you got into lap traffic? You looked a bit hesitant. Yeah, lap traffic was pretty hard out there. It's a, it's a pretty hard track to pass on. It's pretty one lane out there, but um, this KP Tanks rocket was hooked up all night, and I can't thank everyone else for helping me out this year. Um, Gareth Insey and the Insey family, they've loaned me this awesome set of shocks, and Justin's done an awesome job of setting it up this year, and it's, it feels like a different car compared to last year. And, I can't think everyone else enough. KB Tanks, Skywalker, Motorcycles, Promo Labs, Skips Blogging, First National Real Estate, JJ Fabrication. Everyone that helps out on this thing has made this possible. I've been wanting this a long time, but I finally got it, so it's good. It is a long time between drinks. Um, you're quite a tall guy. In the cockpit of these cars, very small, so you, you fold it up like pretty, um, like a half open pocket knife. But it's, it's, you know, how are you going to get on? Are you going to grow anymore? Are you going to move to midgets? So what's your plan? Oh, well, you know, I think everyone's dreams to move into a midget car. It's just the, the funding side of it's really expensive and a lot of, a lot of fans know out there, but midgets are a lot of drivers that just run other cars, other people's cars. So really looking out for an opportunity, but um, hopefully it'll come sooner rather than later. OK, well, Ben, well done on winning the Wash World um, feature tonight. I'm the owner of Wash World, so you need to go to either St. Luke's or the two on the North Shore, um, one at Wairau and one at Albany. Yeah. Just a bit of a plug there. So, um, <laughs> Certainly, uh, well done and congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the TQ feature, the Wash World TQ feature, Ben Morrison. Thank you, guys.